Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, yeah, you are seeing me in the same hair, same, well, same messy hair, the same shirt and everything because all these boxes and bags this week arrived the same day. And I think it's really funny that Ipsy has kind of been shipping out a little bit early, so I've been getting my Ipsy's a little bit early. And BoxyCharm has definitely, definitely been running behind. I do have my premium box here uh, today to unbox for you guys. Usually if it's not here within the first two weeks, I don't film it. I just feel like it's kind of pointless because everybody else and their mothers have already unboxed on YouTube. Um, but, you know... I, I don't know, I kind of still wanted to go ahead and do this month since it is the last month of the year. So let's go ahead and dive in. Like I said, this is premium. All right. Right off the bat, I see a palette. Uh, this is True and Luscious, the Lucky Glow Bronze and Highlight Palette. This is huge. And it does have on the back all of the colors that we get inside. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like in person. I do like the little wings, the lips. I think that is super cute. And ooh. Oh wow. Okay. Bronze highlight and blush. Look at this. Look how pretty this is. That is so stunning. I love both of the highlighters. This is definitely unique. Uh, that blush would be really pretty for summer. I wonder how these bronzers are though. Let's go ahead and swatch these because I do not want them to be like orange. I hate it when a bronzer comes off orange. Mm. I actually think the darker one is going to be better. Mm, yeah. So these are the bronzers right here. I think I could use either one actually. So that's really exciting. Let's go ahead and swatch this crazy one right here. That is really pretty. So that's what it looks like on the finger. Ooh. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. That, that would definitely be too dark as a as a highlight for me. And then the highlighter. Oh, that's really pretty. And let's go ahead and do the blush. Okay, so there are some of the swatches. I'm only missing one. Uh, but yeah, they're really, really pretty. Hmm. Not bad. Okay, so moving on, the next item I see is from Nice. <laughs> This is from Elemis. This is their Peptide Plumping Pillow Facial. I'm super excited for this. I have only tried one Elemis product and I really liked it. Um, and their products are actually pretty pricey. So I'm excited that this is in here. Um, it says, let's see, hydrating sleep mask for thirsty skin, peptide extract, plumps, replenishes, and hydrates. Please plump and replenish and hydrate my skin because my skin is dry, dry, dry in the winter time. So I, this is like right up my alley. And usually I prefer makeup over skincare, but this is right up my alley. It says apply overnight and rinse off in the morning. If contact with eyes, obviously rinse thoroughly. So let's see. This is the packaging right here. It's a very good size. The color is definitely interesting. It's like this purplish blue color. Isn't that really pretty? I usually don't say that about creams, but it actually is a, it's got a pretty color to it. It's got a nice soft scent, nothing that strongs or stick that strong or sticks out like super bad. Um, more like a calming scent, but nothing anywhere near like a lavender scent. So I can't wait to try this. We're gonna try this tonight. I'm super excited for that one. Of course, I have my little um, card, which we will go over that in just a little bit. Okay, so hmm. the next item we have is from Glam Glow. Now, uh, kind of like Ipsy, they are sending me a pack of two. So these are two face masks uh, from Glam Glow. So this is Glow, Glow Lace. 
Radiance Boosting Hydra Hydration Sheet Mask. Interesting. <laughs> so this one's supposed to hydrate, energize, radiance. Hydrate, revitalize, and illume. So this mask actually has like silver little things all over it, designs or whatever. Hmm, that'll be interesting. Uh, and this one is an eye booster. Ooh, this is so interesting. It kind of reminds me of like Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, so this is a reviving eye mask to hydrate, soothe, and revitalize. Look at that. <laughs> Well, I cannot wait to test these out. These are, these look fun. I don't know if they're going to work or not. Have you guys tried masks from Glam Glow? I haven't. So uh, if you have, leave a comment down below and let me know how that turned out. The next item we have is from Elizabeth Mott. Mm, not one of my favorite brands, but it's okay. Uh, this is a volumizing mascara and it's called the It's So Big Mascara. I do like testing out new mascaras, so even though it's not a brand I particularly care for, the fact that it is a mascara definitely helps, and uh, who knows, maybe this will actually work for me. So it is a huge tube, I really do like that, and let's see what the wand looks like. Oh, I like the wand. I like the fact that it's kind of bigger here and it slims down, so yeah. I can't wait to test this one out and see how that works out for me. Two more items. Okay, this next item I'm so excited for. This was definitely a choice item. <sighs> I'm so happy. Okay, so Viseart is a very, very expensive brand. Their eyeshadow palettes are like $80. This one's like $80. So this is already well worth the box. Um, I know I already had the other one because there was two options and I already have the other one and I used it or I use it all the time so I decided to go with this one so this one is the neutral mattes I'm telling you if you ever get a chance to try these shadows they are so worth the splurge they really really are so this is the palette right here I love the colors in here and especially if I have like an all shimmer palette these really do come in handy so I, ha I think I have like a Morphe palette that's like all shimmers or an Urban Decay palette that's like all shimmers I'll actually just pull from these palettes and uh, I'll use it actually let me show you the other one I have so this one is the 01 neutral matte so and believe me I have dug and I've dug in this one and the shadows do not go anywhere I'm actually I might see a little bit of no that's glitter <laughs> so this is what the palette looks like I have used this for like forever and I still have yet to hit pan but uh yeah I'm really excited to have a new addition to my Vizzy Art collection and last but not least yes oh I, I love it okay so we got a set of eye brushes and not just eye brushes but number one it's crown I love crown brushes but these are also eye brushes like I like when I get brushes but when they are for the eyes that makes me even happier because I don't really use face brushes as often so this is super exciting I think one of the first sets of brushes I ever had was from crown and I just they were so so good I still have them just just for the record so this is what they look like <sighs> all right oh these are so up my alley so we have a little like shader brush we have obviously a big blending brush this is another blending brush they feel really really nice this is kind of like, oh yeah, like, a, and then like a little pencil brush. Can never have too many pencil brushes. Just saying. So I'm actually super excited that this is in here. This this is actually a pretty good box, you guys. Okay, so let's go over the prices of this. So I, like I said, the Vizier eyeshadow palette I already knew was eighty dollars. The Elemis uh, Peptide Plumping Pillow Facial is $65. The Lucky Glow Palette was $46. Glam Glow Eye Masks, there's two of them. 
eighteen dollars. A little expensive. Don't know if I'd pay eighteen dollars for two masks when I get masks out of Ipsy all the time. So, just saying. Uh, the Crown five piece brush set for thirty four ninety five. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say thirty five since we're only five cents off. And the Elizabeth Mott's mascara is twenty. So this box is worth. $264. <laughs> that is a lot of money. That is a lot of bang for my buck. Just saying. And there's some really good products in here. Okay, so normally I have been trying to do the weight of the box. I know a lot of people do enjoy that information, but for some reason I cannot find it on this month's box because every time I bring up the tracking information usually it takes me to like what USPS or FedEx or something like that and um or one of the two and but this one brings me to an OSM worldwide uh website which is completely different and I've looked all over it does not give me the weight of the package it just tells me like where it's been um <laughs> It doesn't even show me its starting point and even one time when I was tracking the package it didn't even show up as said as I was locked out and I viewed it too many times so that was a little weird I don't know if that has anything to do with Ipsy and BoxyCharm merging together god I hope not because I do not like that Ipsy uses the DHL uh, mail service because that is like the slowest of the slow like you have USPS and then you have DHL. <laughs> um, but that's just my personal opinion. So this is definitely something that is new to me. I've never seen this before. If you guys have you heard of them, please let me know. It is the OSM Worldwide Shipping Service. I don't know. Whatever. It's stupid. I don't like it. <laughs> um, unless you guys can tell me like where to look for the info because I cannot find it. Uh, but we went over the pricing, so I did want to let you guys know that this was version number two. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this unboxing. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please give me a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the video I have listed down below. That is my Christmas giveaway, and it ends very soon, so make sure you guys check that out. And, yeah, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.